Yo, what's up, guys? So, in honor of Halloween, man, we wanted to watch some horror movies. We put a poll over on Patreon and get out one. And this is directed no, by. No, came Dr in second. Did it really? They came in second to it, 2017. That's a damn shame. Well, that movie was good too, so yeah. go check that out. Uh, this is uh, starring Daniel Kaluuya. I think is his name. He was in Black Panther, and he was really good in that. So I'm really excited to see him in this. And this was directed by Jordan Peele. This will be the first time that we've checked out one of his movies, so I'm pretty excited for it. This one also came out in 2017, so for some reason our Patreon just is all about some 2017 movies. That must have been a really good year for cinema for sure. So yeah. um, this is one that I've never seen before. I actually really like horror movies, man. I done said the spill a bunch, but I actually really like horror movies a lot. They're just really appealing to me, and I'm just excited to watch Jordan Pills get out. So let's, let's go. go. All right, let's go. Oscar winner. This thing won an Oscar. Have you seen that meme that's like? Nur, 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 nur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't I have the sound effects? Like. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't use it because it's so out of place. What kind of sick individual named the street Edgewood Way and he put it half a mile away from Edgewood Lane? Right. Huh? Confusing as suburb. <laughs> Yo, I'm serious though. I feel like a sore thumb out here. All right, I'll talk to you soon. He's confused about the street names. <laughs> oh, there's your ride. This is about to be Billy from Stranger Things. Just keep on walking, bro. <laughs> about to go the other way. I can't. I'm gone. Come on, bro. Yo! 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 No way. Who do you get taken by? The driver? Well, yeah, but what type of mask is he wearing? This man's got a mean rear naked choke, though. And he'll straight to sleep. And I didn't even hear him walk up. Or did he stab him? Kind of hard to tell. So remember that car. That's the capturer. That was crazy as mess. He's walking down the street. Next thing you know, he's in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> How it is though. Sometimes you're just looking for Edgewood Ave, and then next time you're in the trunk. Right. They're gonna pull you into the uh, America muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I like this music already though. <laughs> it's a tough picture though, to be honest. Trying to stay off the sweets right now. I'm getting <laughs> fat. Do not, no, do not say that. <laughs> My bad. That's kind of tough. So he's the photographer. It's pretty cool. Why she pull up like an Uber Eats though? Because she's trying to That's become a long-term yeah. girlfriend. That'll stop eventually. Good. <laughs> you got your toothbrush. Check. Do you have your deodorant? Check. Do you have your cozy clothes? Got that. Can you give me a minute, Tim? He's got the hypoallergenic dog. Do they know I'm black? No. Oh, damn. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Should they? Well, yeah. All right, what if grandma drops the Mom casserole? Dad, She's like, my, uh, <laughs> she gets shocked. My black boyfriend will be coming up this weekend. He's a black man. <laughs> <laughs> you said I was the first black guy you ever dated. Yeah, so what? Yeah, so I don't want to get chased off the lawn with a shotgun. My dad would have voted for Obama a third time if he could have. <laughs> Definitely going to want to talk to you about that. He's a lame dad more than anything else. They are not racist. I would have told you. Oh, God, now I feel stressed. <laughs> They're gonna be at dinner. He's like, you know, <laughs> I'd have voted for Barack again if I could have. <laughs> like on cue. <laughs> yeah. I supported Obamacare. <laughs> no, 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 no. Grown man in the no way. Seriously, threw it out the window. Basically, threw a dollar out the window. So now you decided to spend on nicotine. I'm gonna call Rod. Oh, Rod. What's up? Rod works Yo, at the airport. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm at work. How can I get in trouble for patting down an old lady? Right. Gary just think as an elderly bitch is elderly. She can't hijack no motherfucking black. <laughs> That's what looking at to sit this weekend. He's got IBS. Damn, see, give me some type of credit. Okay, I don't think it's shit you do. He's looking after his dog. How Miss Rosie doing? She's good. She's driving. I'd like to talk to him, please. <sighs> Hi, Rod. You know you picked the wrong guy, right? <laughs> 
So I'll just deploy to get to you. She said it's not too late for us. Don't go to a white girl parent's house. She doing licking your balls or something? Yeah, bye. You know what I'm saying? Right, she didn't even tell him. Yeah, but they don't have social media or something. You're jealous. I mean, you're jealous. It's rot. Damn, that was a deer, right? Or a spirit. I was thinking either a deer or a jackrabbit, but <laughs> what do you say? Are you okay? Yeah, it's gonna shit on me, you. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Oh, dang. Hmm. Stay here. What? What are you doing? I don't know. Well, maybe it's gone, you know. That's a bad omen. I would just go home. Chris. You know, when I was like growing up, if you hit a deer like that, it was common courtesy to put it out of his misery. But no one carries a gun like that anymore. Like no one would ever do that anymore. Everybody would just leave it. Oh, I know. And then it has to die like that. Animal Control Services. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, can I see your license, please? No, no, no. He wasn't driving. That doesn't make any sense. Here. You don't have to give him your ID because you haven't done anything wrong. Anytime there is an incident, we have every right to That's ask. That's bullshit. Ma'am, the... She knows the rules. Everything all right, Ryan? Yeah, I'm good. Get that headlight fixed. And that mirror. Thank you, officer. That was hot. I wouldn't be letting her drive. She just hit a deer. That was her fault. That's that why, deer. That's why girls don't drive right here. Y'all be hitting all the damn deer. We're here. Not me. I don't like to. Dang, that's a nice house. When you have more than one rocking chair, you made it. It's the groundskeeper. Where's my little girl? Come here. <laughs> Call me Dean and you're hungry, <laughs> my man. We're huggers. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, so far, so good. So, how was your drive in? We actually had a deer. It's horrible. Wow. Are you guys all right? Yeah, it just broke us out. Came out of nowhere. We got it pretty good. <laughs> I say one down, a couple hundred thousand to go. I see a dead deer on the side of the road. I think to myself, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand that. I'm, I'm just sorry. saying. I don't like them. You guys look so wiped out. Yeah. So how long has this been going on, this thing? <laughs> what in the hell? So <laughs> He's looking at me like cringe. <laughs> Four months. Mm. Uh, five months, actually. She's right. Better get used to saying that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. She's right. I'm wrong. <laughs> See? Does he have an off button? It's <laughs> exhausting. You know what? I want to give you a tour. This is Missy's office. She's a therapist, right? A psychiatrist, yeah. It's Rose's little brother. There he is. He used to be just like his old man. Pick these up in Bali. Such a privilege to be able to experience another person's culture. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you're, you're gonna love this. My dad's claim to fame. Berlin Olympics in 1936. Always one in front of him. Yeah, what a moment. This black dude comes along, proves him wrong in front of the entire world. Amazing. <laughs> Tough break for your dad, though. He's trying yeah. so hard, ain't he? <laughs> he almost got over it. Uh, that's the basement. We had to seal it up. My mother loved her kitchens. We keep a piece of her in here. Georgina, this is Chris. This is Rose's boyfriend. Hello. Now for the piece de resistance. The field of play. Total privacy. So he only hires black people or something? Thinking. Black servants? It's a total cliche. We hired Georgina and Walter to help care for my parents. When they died, I couldn't bear to let them go. I hate the way it looks. Yeah, I know what you mean. I would have voted for Obama for a third <laughs> term if I could. No. <laughs> no. I agree. He just yeah. talked about some cliche. <laughs> so what are your That's a pretty old person? school school uh, there. Right. right. My dad Hannah wasn't really in the picture. My something. mom passed away when I was like 11. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't remember a lot from that time, so. Well, that's okay. We don't have to talk about that. I like her voice. It's like, I don't know, therapist voice. You smoke, Chris? You a little bit over there? Huh? I'm quitting. That's okay. We're not judging. We're it's not. a nasty habit, though. 
You should have Missy take care of that for you. How? Hypnosis. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. I smoked cigarettes for 15 years. She puts me under once. The sight of a cigarette makes me want to vomit. It's a service we provide. I'm good, actually. Smoker or not, we're thrilled to have you up here for the, for yeah. the big get-together. <laughs> Wait, holy shit, that's this weekend? What oh. get-together? My dad would throw a shindig yeah. once a year, get all his friends together. Wait, why didn't you guys tell me about this? It's the same day every Wait. year, sweetheart. Do you think there's a reason he keeps using incredibly corny language like shindig and stuff? I don't know. Are they just trying to like make him seem like extra like white or something? Or is that is there a reason he's doing that? Because he's talking very like peculiar. He does have a weird dialect. Do I write about that? But who talks like that? It is. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, that's yeah. really wrong. It felt like we keep them close to us. Yeah, oh. oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. I... Why don't you go lay down? Just get some rest. I think I will. Good. That was a weird response. Like she made one mistake. They said, and barely. Her bed. I don't even see any. Sup, fam? Hi, darling. Daddy. Nobody answers the door around here. <laughs> <laughs> she used to bite them off, suck on them, and save them in the jewelry box. <laughs> no. That is no. so disgusting. Fucking okay, hate you. He's a good one. You realize you're coming off as like the world's biggest douchebag right now, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go get dessert. I would want to get out of this house. I'm already wanting to get out of this house. Oh. What's your sport? Basketball. You an MMA fan? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, what? you're there? <laughs> Why don't we uh, let someone else have the floor for a second? I got the joke there. You didn't get the joke, but. You're okay. dating my sister, oh. right? He's dating my sister. You had your chance. You know how all the white guys will wear the tap out shirts and shit? That's what they're trying to, <laughs> that's what they're saying. With the white sunglasses? He likes MMA. <laughs> you mean like UFC? Yeah, nah, too brutal for me. You ever get in street fights as a kid? First grade. <laughs> Aww. You should have seen me. Because with your frame and your genetic makeup, if you really pushed your body, you'd be a fucking beast. Carrot cake. But so would you Ooh. if you Hi. did that too, right? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Talking about sports. Hey. Yeah. The thing about jujitsu, it's all about this. It's all about being two, three, four moves a hit. Cool. Right. <laughs> No karate at the dinner table. It's not karate, mom. Yo, I got a rule. No, no, no play fighting with drunk dude. Don't play. I'm just gonna Jeremy. I wasn't gonna hurt him. This movie's nuts, isn't it? It's like, intense. what's wrong with him? He's wild. He's weird. We were gonna put you in a fucking headlock. He's never treated any of my boyfriends that way. Mm -hmm. My man, my man. I don't think he's <laughs> ever heard that or said it, and now he just. Yep. Oh, and my mom being rude to Georgina? What the fuck was that about? How are they different than that cop? <sighs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anything more you'd like to add? I told you so. Like, like you should have told oh, them. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to mm -hmm. say it. I didn't want to say it. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm related to all of them. No, no it's fine. How are you so calm? It's nothing. I like you and your racial flow, though. I'd be like, it's all good, girl. Can we go? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get me out of here before your brother comes back. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna try to play wrestle the whole time. <laughs> it's like you just wanted to fill him or something. It's all good. Yeah? Yeah. You know, with my genetic makeup, shit can go down. <laughs> I'm a beast. I'm a beast. So far, not too scary, though. Yeah, until, like, the woods is being shown right now. What do you mean? So far, it's just kind of... Oh. A little creepy and uncomfortable, not scary. I feel like this is where something bad is gonna happen because he's about to go outside at night. Yeah, and he's about to smoke and that you know that dad doesn't like it for some reason. He's really like, that's a nasty hair, but you should quit it. <laughs> Why is she up? <laughs> it's like, mm-mm. They do have a nice house though, nice to have. Is he picturing that? He's running right at him. Oh my God. <gasps> what? <sighs> what is wrong? Are we just gonna ignore that man like did a cut? You said. <laughs> like, are we just gonna <laughs> ignore that part? Do you realize how dangerous smoking is? What is this, world's strictest parents or something? Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, that Come TV show? Sit with me. 
Thank you. So you're comfortable enough, right? It's perfect. Sure. You want to know how it works? You just dangle a pocket watch in front of people's faces, is that it? <laughs> you watch a lot of TV. <laughs> we do use focal points sometimes, heightened suggestibility. Don't let her do it to you. You're going to be running. <laughs> do you smoke in front of my daughter? I'm going to quit, I promise. That's my kid. You understand? What about your mother? Wait, are we? Where were you when she died? I don't want to think about that. Watching TV. Do you hear the TV? Rain. You hear the rain? Is she trying to trick him? She's rude as hell, ain't she? Yeah, I think so. Because mm -hmm. I hear the rain. Tell me when you found it. Come here, Chris, look at me. <laughs> Where was your mom? She, she was coming home. She wasn't home. From work? Mm. What did you do? Nothing. You didn't call anyone? No. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I just... So she's putting him under right oh, now, and he didn't even realize it. I did. Make it real. I thought when we heard the rain, that's why it was happening. You're so scared. You think it was your fault? <sighs> How do you feel now? I can't move. Mm. You can't move. You're paralyzed. Oh, my gosh. Just like that day when you did nothing. He's kind of good. Now... Sink into the floor. Wait, wait, wait. Sink. Whoa! What? Damn, it's dusty and dark under your floor. Maybe he's in the upside down. Right. Do you think the people who are working for them or slaving for them or whatever, do you think that they fell? Their bodies are just like Maybe. on idle or something? Maybe. Maybe he can like find them down there or something. This is freaking me out. Dude. Lana, this is so creepy. What is she gonna do? Now you're in the sunken place. Oh my gosh. Fight your way back. Oh my oh. god. So he could have been under that for god knows how long, right? Or either it was a dream, but. <laughs> <laughs> That pup's having a good time. Yep. With Rod. Mm hmm Yeah, good idea. Escape. Take some take some evidence. Yeah, he he had a weird night, honestly. What did she do to him though? I don't know if she did something, but they still ran to her him and that lady did that weird thing in the That couldn't have all been a dream though. Don't get caught. Dang. <laughs> Bro, you looking real weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please go ask, why did you run at me? <laughs> like, that was strange. What's up, man? You're working you good out here, huh? Nothing I don't want to be doing. I didn't get to meet you. I know who you are. She is lovely, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is. Top of the line? <laughs> right. Sorry about last night. I didn't mean to scare you. Next time you better move, he'll flatten you. <laughs> and did it work? I guess I had too much of that wine last night. Can't really remember. I should get back to work and mind my own business. What's up with him? That'd have been enough right there to send me over the edge. I, I gotta go. I wouldn't even tell Rose bye. I'd have to go run through those woods. Right. Why, Rose, you didn't tell me about all this. Oh, he doesn't want it. hypnotized me last night. Would you after that? <laughs> I went out for some air last night and I run into her and thought of a cigarette makes me want to throw up. Like, and I had some fucked up dreams and I couldn't move. It was like, oh God, I'm sorry. What's Walter's deal? Dude's whole vibe's hostile. Did he say something? It's not what he says, it's how he says it. Hmm. Maybe he likes you. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he's jealous or something, I don't know. A real doggone keeper. You think I've got a chance at him? Right, you got <laughs> jokes. Put in a good okay. word. No, you got jokes. Oh. She's over here playing. My dude's having I will, a bad um, day. I'm going to talk to my dad about that. That's not It's not fine. Cool. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Forget about it. It's done. Oh, boy. Wait, don't they got more people coming? 
or, or some like party or something a shindig oh man oh shoot <laughs> you ready for this it looks like the government mm. Is that like Bohemian yeah. Grove out there or something? Bohemian yeah. Rose. <laughs> oh look, it's the greens. Nice to meet you indeed. Oh, and that's quite a grip. Oh, thank you, you too. You ever play golf? Mm, once. Gordon was a professional golfer. I do know Tiger. Best I've ever seen, ever. Hands down. Let, let's see your form. <laughs> <laughs> How handsome is he? Not bad. He's staring at the husband or whatever. <laughs> so, is it true? Is it better? Well, well, but now the pendulum is swung back. Black is in fashion. Why is it about middle-aged, like, white couples? Like, not middle-aged, they're, like, older, right? I don't know what kind of game they're running. I don't know. I mean, I feel like if I was about to talk to him, I'd be like, hey, man, cool camera. And then right. I'm talking about my camera. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I probably would talk about basketball, though. <laughs> but hey, bro, you like to play basketball? Because I do. <laughs> like, gee. <laughs> Maybe he's the founder of, like, a book club or something. Good to see another brother around here. <sighs> of course it is. Is that not the guy in the beginning that they put in the trunk? I don't know. Is that not him, guys? I don't know. Dude, I wish I could remember what that guy looked like. But he I was thought really he had tall. like a beard or something. Well, he might have shaved. He might be clean cut now. But look, he was tall. He was tall and skinny. And that guy was tall and skinny. Oh, maybe the mom like like hypnotized him. Maybe, but it looks like the same guy. Sorry, let me back it up. Of course it is. He actually looks clean in that outfit, though. Something wrong. Hmm. Do something with this. He looks like a young Dave Chappelle. That's the lady he was on the phone with? Logan King. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. That's nice. I hate to tear you away, dear, but the Wincots were asking about you. It was nice to meet you, Chris. Goodbye. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're like some vampires over there. <laughs> I feel him on that. Yeah. It's like I'm thinking the same thing. What is the catch here? <laughs> I would even feel awkward going there. Ignorance. They have no idea what real people go through. Jim Hudson. Chris. I know who you are. I am an admirer of your work. You have a great eye. Jim Hudson? Hudson Galleries? Believe me, the irony of being a blind art dealer isn't lost on me. The images you capture so brutal, so <laughs> melancholic. <laughs> You see about they're playing bad things. <laughs> Thank you. Used to dabble myself, wilderness mostly. And of course my vision went to shit. Life can be a sick joke. Dang. Genetic disease. How do you just know about him though? That was kind of weird, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't really believe that guy either. This is so weird. <laughs> he put his phone on the charger. Yeah, they're trying to suck his battery. Hey. Come here, come here. Look at this. She unplugged my phone. Who? Georgina. I came here to talk to Rod and I got no juice. Maybe she doesn't like the fact that I'm with you. Really? So you are so sexy that people are just unplugging your phone? She takes every situation and turns it into a joke. I know, I know. She's not taking them serious at all. <sighs> Don't do that. Don't. Okay. They're kind of a weird couple because she has such an outgoing personality. He's so laid back. Like she just ain't listening to him at all. No, she's like manipulating him, kind of. Yep, you in it. I didn't want to tell you. I got hypnotized last night. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting in my head. I know she caught me off guard, right? But it's cool. It worked. Bro, how you not scared of this, man? Look, they could have made you do all types of stupid shit. Flying around like you a fucking pigeon. Looking ridiculous, okay? <laughs> or white people love making people sex slaves and shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not a kinky sex family, dog. Look, Jeffrey Dahmer was eating the shit out of niggas' heads. <laughs> but that was after he fucked the heads. You know, that's Jeffrey Dahmer business. Yo, and it's the black people out here, too. It's like all in Mr. Movement. Because they probably hypnotized. I'm taking what you presented to me. I think that mom is putting everybody in a trance, and she's fucking the shit out of them. Thanks, Rod Black. 
Hello. Look, hi. I owe you an apology. How rude of me to have touched your belongings without asking. Dang, she admitted it. But why is she so like, like that? There was no funny business. Allow me to explain. I lifted your cellular phone to wipe down the dresser and it accidentally came undone. I left it that way. How foolish of me. It's fine. I wasn't trying to snitch. Tattletale. Oh, don't you worry about that. I can assure you, I don't answer to anyone. All I know is sometimes, but if there's too many white people, I get nervous, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think she is hypnotized. She's crying. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. I do something. That's not my experience. Not at all. The Armitages are so good to us. They treat us like family. Like, I believe they're hypnotized, but like, what's the twist? You know what I mean? Why is she so dang pleasant? I don't know. I thought it's like she's from like the 1600s or something. Right. She's like, has an old soul or something, but she did, she looks young, kind of. Like she didn't know the word snitch. Right. Hang on. Chris, this is uh, David and Marsha Wincott, Hiroki Tanaka, Friedrich Walt. Too many names to remember, but hi. <laughs> <laughs> Find the being African American more advantage or disadvantage in the modern world. What are the it's questions? A tough one. <laughs> they threw an Asian guy with all the white people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Hey, they were asking me about the African-American experience. Maybe you could take this one. For the most part, very good. Although I find it difficult to go into detail, the chores have become my sanctuary. Dang, he left the flash on. Get out. Ooh, the title. Sorry, man. Yo, shoot it. Get out. Shoot it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Is he mad at him or trying to save him? It's hard to tell. Seizures create anxiety, which can trigger aggression. Your flash, that's what set him off. Hey. Well, it's much better. <laughs> I imagine that I owe you all an apology, and I thank God for you for calming me down. She put him back under a trance. I'm sorry. The flash, I didn't know. Of course not. And you shouldn't have been drinking either. I'll have to let you all get on the rest of the night without the aid of my marvelous wit. The whole ordeal has made me quite a bit exhausted. Why didn't you just get some rest? It was nice meeting you, Chris. Yeah. Let's get this uh, party back on track. How about sparklers and bingo? Oh. Is he wearing a turtleneck? Uh, is that what that is? You yes. sure? Oh my God. Shall we? My cousin's epileptic. That wasn't a seizure. My dad's a neurosurgeon. That wasn't a seizure. What was it then? How long have you known that guy? Met him today. I mean, this is gonna sound weird, but it felt like I knew him. Ooh. Like you've met Logan before? No, I don't know Logan. I knew the guy that come at me. I think your mom got in my head, right? I think she got in my head. Yeah, and it, and it worked, no, I it thought. No, it did not. It didn't work. She got in my head, and now I'm thinking all this fucked up shit that I don't want to think about. Like what? <sighs> that is not bingo. What? I just need to go. You want to go? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Without me. Whatever you want. See you later, Freddy Krueger looking girl. Because <laughs> her sweater? <laughs> You're wild for that. The only booty work down over this one right here. What is happening? Oh my God, it's an auction. He just said, he just said four. Five, and then now he's doing like six. S 10. Sold. Going again. Oh, the 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 blonde guy. Yes. So they're basically like getting black people and then they're hypnotizing them to become like slaves or or to like what? I don't know. That lady's a hell of a hypnotist. I told you about that night my mom died. I didn't call nine one one and go out looking for her. One hour went by and then two and three. I just sat there. I was just watching TV. There's nothing you could have done. I found out later that uh, she had survived the initial hit. She lay there bleeding by the side of the road, cold and alone. Aww. That's how she died in the early morning, cold and alone. And I was watching TV. You're that was time. 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 So he like hates himself for that in a way. It was time if somebody was looking for her. That was time. Nobody, nobody, nobody was looking. You are all I've got. I'm not gonna leave here without you. I'm not gonna abandon you, okay? You're not. 
I hate that because this is going on and I wonder if she knows. What? Let's go home. This sucks. This sucks. Let's go home. I'll make something up. I love you. I was gonna say, if you really love them, don't you sort of gotta go? Yeah. I think that's what she just decided. Like, this is enough. She's acting like she just don't really see it, but if he's that uncomfortable, then just go. That party in itself was uncomfortable. Like, if it's that important. Yeah, right. If it's that Good important night, for you to, like, it's great to meet you. have someone that gels with your family, date someone else, but. You don't need to be going through all this. I forgot about him. He low-key sucked to that, too. It's almost like they do that all the time, like, like a ritual or something. Oh, that's Drake. He used to kick him with Veronica. Veronica. They know him. Yes, that is he it. knew yes, that. Wait, 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 wait. Fucking but it wasn't. Crazy. He's different. No shit. He came to the party with a white woman like 30 years old now. Sex slave! <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! You want some eye wide shut situation? Leave, motherfucker! Yo, you gonna be a. Hello? Battery must be fucking down. Is everything okay? I'll tell you in the car. Oh, you gotta go. Let me go get my bag. Okay. I'm stressed. Yeah, me too. <laughs> shit. They're out in the middle of nowhere, too. I know. He even made it a point to let us know where the next neighbor was. Oh, no. Boom. Ah! <laughs> Not in the little room. This is not the time. Right, what if he gets caught snooping? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like rushing to leave. She lied. Oh, maybe. She said that's the first black dude yeah, she's been with. Yeah, I know. There's two. She's part of it, bro. She lured you here. Oh my God. Oh, that's, that's the... The Bro, Georgina. she even plays it both ways to get people there. Oh my. She got your butt. Pretend. Oh my god. She has a yeah, Waldo just, outfit on. Just looking for my camera. Uh, it's right here. They left that there so he'd mm. see it. Like, they're playing with them. They're trying to get them, yeah, like, they scattered. Yeah. Somewhere. It's just a matter of finding them. Well, I'd hit her with the knee. Nah. <laughs> You gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> hey, uh. Forget the keys, walk home. Keys. Walk home. Man, I'm telling you what, I'd have disappeared out the side of the house through the woods. I would have slid never down known. that banister. Yo, yo, I would have drop kicked yo, him. Just no. Just putting bags in the car, man. Would anyone like tea? No, I'm good. We leaving, actually. Why? Is something wrong? Rose? He has to be at the vet first thing in the morning. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, how terrible. Keys. Rose? What is your purpose in life? He's finding those keys. She's not even Fire. looking. Rose? Even the sun will die someday. But we are divine. Man, I'm swinging at this point. We are the gods trapped in cocoons. Who Rose. cares if you're rude anymore? I don't know where they are. Rose? Rose, give me those keys! Rose, give me... Oh, 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 be careful, bro. What the fuck is going on? Oh my gosh. This is a nightmare. Where are those keys, Rose? You're not supposed to. Man. You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? She played the act all the way to the end, didn't Betrayal. she? Betrayal. Man, hit him. Jump out the window. Just jump out. Right. And run. Come on. Oh, shoot. Not a fair oh, fight. Shit. Grab his legs, please. Take him downstairs, Dean. Help him. You've already damaged him enough. Damaged him. Oh, God. Mind his head. Oh, oh, the dude's a neurosurgeon. What are you talking about a neurosurgeon for? Because she said, mind his head. Drop him. <laughs> She's saying just don't beat his shit up. <laughs> don't give him brain damage. You were one of 
one of my favorites. What's this? She probably says that to everyone, don't you think? Yeah, she knew that he knew. That is so twisted. Hey, it's Chris. I need to away from the phone. I just don't want to talk to you. Peace. Come on, Ronnie. Don't make the same mistake he made. Go look for him. Chris. Hey, it's Chris. I need to away from the phone. I just don't want to talk to you. Peace. Yeah. Me too. Mm. He's a musician. Oh, shit. That looks like a podcast room, Loki. <sighs> it's a nice room, but I just don't like it. <laughs> That'd be so creepy. Oh, my gosh. That's like the worst nightmare meeting your girlfriend's parents. I thought yours was bad, but geez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything more beautiful than a sunrise? I'm Roman Armitage. There's no need to worry. Hell no. A video like this? What the heck? The chosen because of the physical advantages you've enjoyed your entire lifetime. We could both be part of something greater. The coagula procedure is a man-made miracle. So he's and like a eugenicist or something? Recently, it was perfected by my own flesh and blood. You can't stop the inevitable. Maybe one day you'll enjoy being members of the family. Behold, the coagula. <laughs> the editing, though. <laughs> yeah, who did that video, though? You're sick for it. <laughs> no. Hello, Mr. Rod Williams. Mm. Well, yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, don't call me ma'am. Well, I'm not gonna get along. How can I help you? My boy Chris has been missing for two days. Your son is missing. <laughs> not, not my son, my friend, he's 26. No. His name is uh, Chris, Chris Washington. He's reporting a grown man missing. She ain't gonna say that serious. He's on Friday with his girlfriend, uh, Rose Armitage. <laughs> She's white. Oh. Look, Chris is supposed to come back on Sunday, right? <laughs> that's it. Chris sent this to me from his girl's friend parents' house. See, that's Andre Hayworth. It is. Apparently, he's been missing for six months in some affluent suburb. He don't look so missing to me. That's because we found him. This dude is from Brooklyn. He didn't dress like this. Mine used to dress like this. Huh? <laughs> Plus, he's married to a white woman twice his age. <laughs> Rod Williams. Oh, okay. TSA. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm trying to work towards this. What I'm about to tell you gonna sound crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> Try me. I believe they've been abducting black people, making them work for them as sex slaves and shit. Sorry about the shit. <laughs> Hold on a second. Then he sent me some weird picture. I'm like, oh man, that's Andre Hayesworth. You, know, you guys are detectives. I got the same training. I, we might know more <laughs> than you sometimes. You know, start putting pieces together. They're probably abducting black people and making them slaves or sex slaves, not just regular slaves. See, I don't know if it's the hypnosis. The sex slave part is so speculation. <laughs> <laughs> And it could be a whole bunch of brothers they got already. What's the next move? He's right about the rest. <laughs> oh, no, guys. He's for real. He's got the photo of a missing person. And don't ever, ever say that I don't do nothing for you. <laughs> she brought oh, them in there girl. so they get you. <laughs> oh, they get you every time. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. It seemed pretty urgent on the other side, and he's just over here scribbling. And he's got photo evidence. <laughs> He's a good friend, though. Hello. Hey, what a Rose? It's um, it's, it's me, Rod. Hi. Where's Chris? He left two days ago. He left. Yeah. Mm. He he got all paranoid and then he freaked out on me and then he just got in a cab and left his phone. Wait, you haven't seen him? Why is she wearing a turtleneck now? Look, look, man, I've been calling his phone a bunch of times. Matter of fact, I went to the police. What did you say? I just said he was missing. Oh, good. You, uh, Let me ask you something. What cab company did he, uh, did he use to leave? Um, wait, I am so confused. Oh, sh you confused? Oh, sh okay. Confused? Uh, you know something? Me too. Hold Could you hold on one second? Okay. Okay, hold on. Lying bitch. She is lying like a motherfucker. I know that. Ooh, that TSA shit tingles. <laughs> this motherfucker's lying. TSA. Fuck, I got you. I'm going to record your ass. 
record the shit out of you. You talk too goddamn much. You're gonna say something. Record, speaker, unmute. <clears throat> uh, Rose? Uh-huh. Um, so last time I talked to Chris, he told me your mama hypnotized. Rod, just stop. Huh? I know why you're calling. Why is that? It's kind of obvious, don't you think? That there's something between us. Oh, oh what you talking no. about? Girl, I called you about Chris. Yeah, she is a no, manipulator. Rod, whenever we'd go out, I remember you looking at me. This is my best friend. Hey, look, if you give something to him. I know you think about f***ing me, Rod. You really don't. Bah! She knew he was recording, huh? Ah, she's so, she's a f***ing, she's a, ah, she's a genius. Y'all are too good, honestly. Y'all done this too much. Do you think that's how he makes money on the auction? Just selling them? Man, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Chris. How's it going, buddy? There's an intercom in the room. Wait, wait, where's, where's Rose? You're one of the lucky ones, trust me. Apparently, our common understanding of the process has a positive impact on the success rate of the procedure. <laughs> you could give a shit, right? Phase one was the hypnotism. Phase two is is this basically a psychological pre-op. Okay, then what's phase three? The transplantation. Oh what? no. I don't even know what that means. So you won't be gone. Sliver of you will still be in there. Limited consciousness. Existence will be as a passenger. You'll live in the sunken place. Now you're in the sunken place. How did they even discover the sunken place? Oh my gosh, that would suck. That's what she calls it. You will be me. So he's trying to go quick. into his body? He said he would he replaces a brain piece or something. Why black people? <laughs> people want to change. Some people want to be stronger. Black is in fashion. Don't please don't <laughs> let me in with that. He probably just wants to see or something. I want your eye, man. I want those things you see through. So he wants him because he's the best photographer. And he never had an eye. Okay, I'm done. Dude, this is too much. You gotta fight your way out. I know y'all could have got away with it forever if y'all had just done it to white people. <laughs> no one would have knew. No, 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 no. So it's the sound, because I was about to be like, close your eyes. Oh, hell no. Okay, well, it all makes sense how he makes his money now. I'm sure he charges a pretty penny for that. Oh, and he's doing medicine too, so he's like apprenticing? Yeah. Jeez. No, <laughs> I don't wanna mm. see, I don't wanna see. He's about to crop his top, boys. Mm -mm. That's like mm -mm. Inglorious Bastards. There's Conor McGregor. I'm gonna put you in the upside down place, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> A scout bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it is nice they work from home, but it's too much. Ah, oh, don't drill in there. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Punch him. Let's go. One down. Oh, damn. You see his head? Mm. Sorry, Jerry Bear. You got to go. Yeah, you kind of got that one coming 100%. Now go switch their brains or whatever the heck you got going on. <gasps> He's he picked cotton out the chair. That's that's good stuff right there. That's good writing. His nervous tick helped him. Yeah. Mm, 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 it's mm, going mm, on up in mm, here. Mm, we don't mm. have to do all this. Jeremy. That was a crazy way to kill someone, though. Yeah, and this guy's dead, too, because he just has an open brain. Oh, he's trying to burn it down. You see him? Wouldn't you? You're going to go down like the craziest person in the world. <laughs> he needs to go break up with that girl real quick. Man, they are broken up. <laughs> But maybe he can like save her. Take a picture of her. 
man, help her out. You gotta help her. What is she like? Has a oh, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Aha. I mean, I would definitely, I would definitely be strapped up if I was doing this. Man, you gotta put her under. That literally just went through his hand. Are you kidding me? Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry about you, mom. You gotta go. They got off lucky. Oh. No, there's no way, bro. Man, that is not how you do a headlock, brother. I'd slip that so easy. <laughs> this headlock, though, is killing me. The first person to go missing was taken by him because he put uh -huh. him in a headlock. Yeah, I'm just stupid. Sorry, it takes me a whole movie. Nice, nice, nice. Man, it sucks. It's burning down. All that evidence is going to be gone. Right. I will go get that. I go take some pictures real <laughs> right. quick. She's just chilling while this is going on. <laughs> she just goes right back to work. And look, they're hanging up. She's like a Homelander. I mean, to be honest, though, if you're sitting there trying so hard to just be all like, oh, I would vote for Obama, blah, blah, blah. There's something sus about you anyways. They're just being weird. Yeah, he had that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do not call the cops. Why is he calling the cops? What if they're in on it? That's what I'm saying. They almost have to be. No, I feel like he burnt, was burning it down because maybe no one knows, you know? Yeah, because it's going to expose the whole town. Oh, don't fucking call. Oh man. What if she wakes up and whoops your butt? Grandma. I wasn't scared. What? That's her grandma? That's her grandma living in her. I think so. No. Oh my gosh. That's why Did you she see the cut. You. That's why she didn't know the word snitch. That's why. Oh, shoot. Guys, I'm so, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. You, you know why he was running? Cause that was grandpa. Yeah, Remember yeah, grandpa yeah. was a sprinter. Mm -hmm. Oh and my God. And he lost God. to Jesse Owens. Yeah. This movie's going crazy right now. Let's finish it. Back it up, back it up. Did she shoot that far? Kind of fire. Nah, she kind of sucks. How do you miss? Get him, Grandpa. Oh, he's quick. Oh my God. Oh no. No. Ah. Messed up the neurology. Nice, the camera. nice, nice. Oh, you gotta kill that lady. Let me do it. Oh, he's a he's a smart guy right there. He said, "Yeah, get him, yeah, grandpa. Yeah, get him, grandpa." Yeah, now shoot her. Oh, man, man. <laughs> that was like evidence too, like. He, he just wanted to kill grandpa. Or maybe he just was he sick just and tired of living like that. Jeez. And he figured if he could kill grandpa, he could end it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Oh, sweet Rose. Sorry about you. It's me. I, I love you. I love you. I love you. She was trying to pretend that she was a victim of it too or something. 
know I would have been like, you woke me up. The cup got me. He didn't even have to do all that. I wouldn't have touched her. Why are you shaking your head? She needs to go to jail. Do you think she's about to get arrested? He's about to get arrested. Yeah, you're kind of right. After. Help. <laughs> Help. Oh my God, this looks so bad. <laughs> Yes! <sighs> Love you. Please your say you have the dog. Just please say you have the dog. Where's Sid? Chris. I mean, I told you not to go in that house. <laughs> How you find me? I'm T.S. motherfucking A. Put some respect on it. <laughs> That's what we do. He don't even know the half. <laughs> if I was him, I'd be so scared to like even tell anyone at this point though. You know what I mean? Because you're you've like escaped it. But the second you say something, you're in a whole trial case. And you have you to jail. go the rest of your life dealing with it. <laughs> yeah, you might just want to call that one a wrap. <laughs> He's like, well, and it was on that day I decided to just not date white women no more. <laughs> It's just not worth it. Oh my god. That was Lord. crazy. That hell. was wild. <laughs> so guys, that was Get Out. That was an incredibly creepy movie. Uh I thought the first half of the movie was like a slow burn, which uh -huh. sometimes can be such a good thing because it can really have a great payoff in the end. You know, that movie went zero to a hundred, like seriously. It was saying. it reminded me of Scream. The thing I really liked about this movie was there was something that was just so simple about it. It didn't try to outdo itself. It didn't try to like make a backstory so complex. It didn't try to like be like freaking genius or anything. It was just a really good story. And it just told itself in a really, really creepy, slow building way. And, and I emphasize the slow burning way because, dude, the last 30, 40 minutes of that movie was crazy. Yes. It's kind of like a part of a song where just like, you know, it starts out slow and then it just goes crazy. You know, what a good movie. What yeah. you think? I thought it was, I was trying to put together the clues the whole time because I knew somewhere, some way it was going to break the story. And I just didn't know where it was going to break. But to me, I guess it broke at that party when the guy, when he took the picture. The story really opened up to me when he started, like when he first got to the house and he starts making like every, it basically he's all like, oh, wow, I love your skin color, basically. <laughs> right, like, he's why like, is he doing all that? You know, when people like, when they quote unquote try to get invited to the cookout hard and stuff right, like yeah. that. He was doing that. He was pulling out all the stops, talking about God knows what. He even said, you know, I'm thinking about it. He said that the grandpa had that party. So it started with grandpa. Grandpa started it. Yeah. But it looks like every it looks like all those people, they come there. It, I don't. I think it's more than once a year it has to be. Those are really rich people who get invited to the party because they're all wealthy enough and they're in the club and they they're trusted to be in the auction. But it's so like artists, but it's like it's like black artists. Ooh. Because the one was the jazz musician, one was the photographer, and then she was looking up professional athletes. So she, they have to have like a craft of some sort. Well, she's like. the, she's basically the one who's going out and find them. So there's probably a client, and he's like, man, I used to be able to, you know, run a four golf four, and, and I used stuff, to be able yeah. to golf, and I used to be able to do this. Find me a black guy who has, you know, really broad shoulders because of, you know I want to be able to do, you know, just whatever the case may be. And so she goes and she starts looking. Yeah. So that guy was an artist and he was missing his eyes. Right. And even when but he, he had won his the eyes, auction, so that's what I'm saying. That story's like good, but he won the auction. There's like a ton of other people there too. So it wasn't oh, just I see tailored what you're saying. to him. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah. like. It wasn't like. Hey, I'm a client. Find me a this yeah. person. It was an open auction. Yeah, that makes sense. And I guess he just wanted to spend the extra money because it worked in his favor. I'm sure on some level though, if you're looking for a specific type of person, they can find it. Yeah. Yeah. Very weird, uh, incredibly weird and inhumane. It almost feels weird to even talk about it in those you know types of ways to start talking about people being sold in an auction and stuff. I do think that the story writing and like the concept of this movie really was good. And I just thought, to be honest, I thought the dude should have got out the first night. It was just too weird. The brother walking up, putting his hands all over you, mm -hmm. trying to. Well, I yeah, think the caveat was how good that girl did at like. Acting. Help. No, she manipulated him so well in the situation, acting like it was a big surprise and stuff like. She can't believe that they would act like that. She can't imagine they would act like that. That's so shocking to her. So for me, I bought it. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, he's just trying to be a good boyfriend by saying whatever. He should have left. <laughs> yeah, he should have left. Well, it was weird because it was like, it was almost funny because in the movie, they were so woke in a sense that it was almost like comical because you know how like white people get super offended on behalf of other people mm -hmm. all the time. It's just something they do. Yeah. It was almost like that. They were going out of their way to like be over complimentary and just, 
just acting very bizarre and weird. And it was almost like they were like, obviously they were very intrigued by like someone of another race. Right. So mm-hmm. obviously they were pretty conscious of it, but they were trying to play it off. Like, Oh, I'm sorry. We are all, we're all staring at you. It's not because you're black. It's because we think you have great shoulders. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so it was just very awkward and it was just weird because they were hiding their intentions. So, well. yeah. And right. it was almost like they knew they would trigger him by being all crazy to where he'd have to go to the lake so they could go do the auction. Yeah. It's yeah. like they kind of know that, I don't know, and it's like they brought the other guy just to trigger him too. Like, I don't know. I would have had some red flags in the very, very beginning because the girl didn't mention that he was black. Like, dude, it doesn't matter what type of family, what type and not of culture, that, you, who you are, you got to tell your But family. you would also post, like... It, in this times, you would just know what the significant other looks like before you come because you just know in these times. So that's kind of a red flag. She wouldn't do that. Well, I mean, it, you know, not everyone has like a Facebook and a social media. I know most people do, but the whole movie was just a big ass red flag to me. I just <laughs> thought it was weird. And it was like that family was so creepy that even dude, I wouldn't want to go there. Yeah, I think I was so well, I'm not that type of person. Anyways, those people are way too uppity for me. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't even know how to. But I totally get why they're uppity now, because they are auctioning off people and making money with this undercover thing. There's probably no taxes. They're making so much money that that guy basically had all these golden pieces of art like on display at every corner. And it just goes to show that they're they're making so much money, like doing this illegal trade that. Like he just ha- he's looking for ways to invest it where he's buying like hundred thousand dollar pieces of art probably right like it's just geez it's just been something that's been going on for a long it's time it's crazy that they were a duo of like a neuro- neurosurgeon and a and a therapist like how hand in hand did that end up working out for them like well crazy. it's not that they I don't think it was that they just happened to be I think they spent their whole lives training to be that way and just yeah so it seems like the grandpa kind of like put that in their head and like trained them. Yeah. Cause even the kids like were in on it. Like the brother wasn't working on it. The sisters, like the obvious, like, you know, when people like go human traffic and they like bait people, she's the ultimate bait. Right. And that, that, that is the, that is something though. Like all jokes aside, man, like we get it, but all jokes aside, that is something that is for real, bro. Like you really have to be smart and go with your gut and just don't trust people. Cause I'm sure from that guy's perspective, he said it. He's just a black dude from the city. And it's like this girl who's got this rich family who lives over here. Like, what does she want with you? You know what I mean? Right. It's like, what reason is she coming up to you? (laughs) Well, she worked him for months, though. Right. That was weird about it. Like, she worked him for months. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that he should have been naive to be like, I mean, from his perspective. Yeah, she likes me because I'm cool. Who wouldn't like me? I get it. Right. Dude, I'm just saying when you pull up to that family, like there's just got to be red flags at this point. There's just something going on. So that would have been weird to me for sure. Like I said, th- they were just they were so fancy and they had so much art and collections and stuff that I don't even know an artist. You know what I'm saying? So but how sinister, so because, you know, thinking back on it, you know how she was like, go get him, grandma, go get him, grandpa. They weren't grandma and grandpa. Well, at least like we didn't see interactions with them together. So I it didn't seem like they were ever grandma and grandpa again. So this whole thing, like, you know what I'm saying? They don't seem normal. Right. Like the second, like the second dude goes up to check his phone. Like you would imagine the black lady in the kitchen would be like, come here, grandbaby. Let me tell, tell me about your day. What's bothering you? Or, but it seemed she like she working, was just a like, robot. Yeah, they were, and so it's like, okay, I get that. But then they're just like robots. Like it's not even like the guy, the artist would have been like the, would have got to do what he wanted. Cause he was just like, not even like functioning. He's just kind of, on autopilot as a human but we didn't get to see a lot of interactions like that i'm just sitting here thinking about the concept of mm-hmm. if i could put my consciousness in another physical body and you know the day i become 90 years old if i could put my consciousness in a 21 year old body and redo it again i don't think i'd want to do that but the thing is that person's just sitting there seeing everything right they just see everything yeah wow that was a weird movie. What man. did y'all have us watch, Patreon? That was wild. That was a good one. It was a good one because it was it was such a simple story that this story is gonna stick in my mind. It almost felt like an not not in in a bad way, but it almost felt like an indie movie or something like something that wasn't so main. Because you know when movies are mainstream, they just really have to overdo themselves. Mm. This one was just like it was perfect in a way. Like there was no crazy CGI really. Yeah, like no, the way he found out was so perfect because he could have found out through like any type of way but he just found out through a small box and the girl's acting the girl's <laughs> acting in the end all their like, you know, i can't give you the keys babe and he just his acting too because when the mom when the mom was doing the cup and he was like crying yeah his face you could just like feel like how like anxious. you could feel it yeah. yeah like you could feel it it's his eyes 
his eyes, he can talk with his eyes in a way that not a lot of actors can do, but you mm-hmm. can read his emotions because of his eyes. You could tell, like, even his eyelids, they would open up and close a little bit more based on, like, his emotion. So just A plus acting in this in this movie. I even like the Rod character. He was absolutely hilarious. He was the comic relief that was necessary. Right. This and movie was like, funny, actually. It was like, like it was. I think the moral of the story was put some respect on TSA agents, I guess. <laughs> like, that was really it because he figured out what was going on and he immediately, well, he went to the police who didn't do crap about it. Yeah. But I don't well, know. the whole entire movie was basically a bunch of people ignoring stereotypes, right? Yeah. And like, man, sometimes just just go with your gut. You know what I'm saying? Just if the family's crazy. Just don't don't pull up to the family. I, if I was him, man, the last thing I'm going to say. I'd have been like, all right, babe, I love you. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'd have been gone. I'd have been gone. That, I and you just wouldn't have been the one that got away. I'd have been the one who snuck through the woods. Y'all would have never seen me again. I wouldn't have hitchhiked. I wouldn't have done anything. I'd have, I'd have got me a canteen of water, grabbed me some pop tarts. I'd have been out of there. I'd have never been back. That's a good movie, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full extended reaction to this movie. We got some more horror movies coming. The Conjuring. Um silence of the lamb and i think a quiet place yeah and i'm I'm personally getting spoiled with all these scary movies because this movie was fun and watching movies like this just makes me want to watch more movies like this so if you have any more really scary movies like this that you want to suggest in the comment section would you call that horror that. yeah it you was would? yeah i would that was a horror. i was thinking more suspense it was thriller to me psychological psych- maybe psychological yeah. thriller the reason it was so yeah it was scary to me yeah like it, was, it wasn't like a, a slasher or anything yeah. like that, but I do think it would fall into the horror category because it's I like mean, your worst nightmare. Like imagine if you went it, to my it really house, is. if you came to my house and my parents were like torturing you, like, and the thing that the also thing was when he was getting hypnotized, the way that she was wording, like, that's my kid. Like it was awkward almost for him to leave in that situation because he's like, I get it. You don't want your daughter to be around smoking. That's. I get y'all are really strict about Man, it. She's over a here. grown ass woman. She's thirty. She, that woman looked twenty six years old. Well, I'm. Just I mean, saying. you might not want your daughter to be with someone who smokes. So, like, I, I, I get that. There's no problem with that. But he was just trying man. to be polite, and he was just walking a fragile line. Which I was like, he was polite for way too long, in my opinion. Yeah, that the ship sailed on that. Man, your daughter's too old to be sitting there nitpicking her decisions like that. But I mean, you, you should want the best for your daughter. But you, you get what I'm saying, man. Uh, well, it was obviously that she was just doing that to like get him to be, you know, be able to hypnotize. But yeah, for sure. I just was thinking she was also a good manipulator. The they mom. all were. Yeah. The they only person who was a horrible manipulator was dad. Dad was so really. Weird. I thought Jerry Bear was or whatever she called him. He wasn't manipulative at all. It was obvious. <laughs> he was just ukulele. Yeah. All right, guys, that was get out. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.